The Fawn and His Mother A young fawn once said to his mother, You are larger than a dog and swifter and more used to running, and you have your horns as a defense. Why then, O oh mother, do the hounds frighten you so? She smiled and said, I know full well, my son, that all you say is true. I have the advantages you mentioned, but I, when I hear even the, the bark of a single dog, I feel ready to faint and fly away as fast as I can. No arguments will give courage to the coward. Um, again, real, raw, uh, um, you know, he's, you know, he, he's, uh, sparing no expense here with, um, you know, talking, talking, speaking ill of, uh, this, this Fawn's mother, the mother, the you know, mother's got, you know, uh, you know, got size and it's, it's got speed and, and, um, it's got stamina, more used to running. And you have your horns as, as a defense. And, um, but it's saying that, you know, how come the hounds, the, the, the dogs frighten you? And, the, and the, the mother says, look, I know you're right. I have the advantages. But whenever I, whenever, when I hear that even the bark of a single dog, of even one dog, I feel ready to faint and fly away as fast as, as, as I can. No arguments will give courage to the coward. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, it, this, this story, I think, is... You know, not particularly, um, you know, not one of his most popular ones because, you know, it sort of speaks ill uh, of, you know, quote unquote, a coward. I wouldn't call, you know, you know, I wouldn't call this mother a coward. I think, you know, I or just, you know, no matter who the gender was, I, I wouldn't call this, this person a coward. I mean, there's some people that, you know, I mean, if you're, you're going to connect it with hu human life, you know, maybe they they're really tough and they can, you know, they're, they're really, they're really strong, but they're maybe afraid of spiders or afraid of them. And I think that that's just emotional. Like some people are emotionally, you know, certain things scare them, maybe heights, maybe, maybe airplanes or, you know, um, you know, just, just, uh, you know, um, and there is mental, mental illnesses too, like agoraphobia. That's, I think, fear of large spaces. I mean, that's like a real, real thing. So, um, I don't know if this is necessarily as helpful, but basically it's saying that no arguments will give courage to, to the coward. I don't know if it's the best, uh, the best example, um, of, you know, of a quote unquote coward. Um, I mean, I guess because it's his mother, like the mother should be defending them. But I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to look at like, you know, gender, I would think that the father should be defending the fawn. Um, you know, so, but if you're looking at like generationally, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that, you know, the adults should defend the, the youngins, um, in general. So, you know, not to get too gendered about this, but just to kind of unpack it and, and to, to, to look around and, um, but I, you know, I think that, I think that it holds true though. Like if, if, if there's someone, you know, that in your life that just, you know, just, just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't resonate and you know you you can try to help them as much as you can it reminds me of that quote you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink it's a little bit different though because yeah i don't know it's kind of similar because it you know a lot of that has to do with like courage you know someone has courage to um take risks or to to move you know for an opportunity or or to uh you know not that there's a, there's a right and wrong but just you know that you're you're going to get a lot more growth through through adversity and, and, you know, potentially some change, um, here and there as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that, I think the message of this one is I think better than the, than the, than the actual story, but yeah, essentially what he's saying is, you know, if, if you've got a friend or someone in your life who it just doesn't want to take any risks, you know, doesn't believe in themselves and doesn't, and doesn't want to want to get out there and fight and, 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 take a chance and, and, and have agency in their life, then no amount of arguments is, is going to give them courage. Like they have to, they have to figure it out for themselves. They have to be courageous, um, on their own. So it's, it's, um, definitely a minor story. Um, that's not his most popular, but, uh, but yeah, no arguments will give courage to the coward, the fawn and his mother. Thank you very much.